Do you guys like the way I handled Costa Yoga? That KG bitch. The difference between a soulmate and a twin flame is that a soulmate is your identical twin. People used to be born with seven chakras activated and they used to be born with their identical twin like everyone not just you know most people think identical twins are something that is rare or uncommon but you used to be born with your identical twin that's why a woman has two breasts and not one because everyone was born with their identical twin which is their soulmate that's why you see identical twins and they're inseparable The twin flame is something that's inside you and when you're when you find the person who you're supposed to be with your angels have it like shoot out of you into that person and then their twin flame goes into you and I'm just repeating what Cyrus King said but he deleted his video so I'm taking all the credit for it coming in through the back door and I'll tell you something uh, interesting about my twin flame it's kinda of sad because and this has to do with a lot of things this has to do with white genocide and the demoralization of people who fight against the Illuminati which would be me According to Kimberly Bunch, they won't let my twin flame incarnate unless it's my daughter. And for those who don't know, the twin flame thing can go either way. The twin flame can go the way of hate or the way of love. And in my case, my twin flame would incarnate as my daughter, and at the age of eight, she would begin to hate me because there would be no mother in the picture and this resonates because I've seen my future several times and I could sense that there was no woman in the picture there's a son but there's no woman in the picture and according to Kimberly Bunch that son isn't even mine because uh, the situation with me in the future is I'm with a girl and she gets pregnant and it's not mine so I have two choices I can either give her a bunch of shit and keep the kid that's not mine or I can keep my mouth shut keep the woman and the kid so if I give her shit for if I give her shit for being a slut then she's gonna leave me in the dust However, if I act like a chump and let her walk on me, I get to keep the girl that's abusing me. That's life. It's not really fair, isn't it? It's not fair. And she said, if I had, Kimberly Bunch said, if I had a son that was mine, biologically mine, that the mother would kill it. And if I had a daughter, it would be my twin flame that would hate me. As a matter of fact, Andrew Bartzis has done several reading shows where he's talked about twin flames, and he. I remember, I'll never forget this one sh reading show he did where he said, he was talking to this woman and he was telling her how her twin flame and her had killed each other so many times in past lives. And most, of, most of the time they killed each other was like when they were, for, I remember him saying that in, in World War One they stabbed each other through the heart with, with bayonets at the same time. 
And then the same thing happened to them in World War II. That once again they stabbed each other to death in the heart with a bayonet. And then, um, and then in one life they were happily married, and the next life they killed each other again before they even knew each other. And yeah, it's very interesting with that kind of uh, stuff. And I want to bring up Makalesi because she said something so telling. There was a video a while back that it was like a Makalesi video. It's on the Makalesi channel, and it's it's the video where Cyrus King and Makalesi are recommending books. And Cyrus King was talking about books that are on the topic of Twin Flames and Soulmates. I'll never forget what Makalesi said, and this is a red flag that just goes to show you that she's a demon. They were they were referring to books about twin flames and soulmates, and Makalesi's like, I, I don't waste my time with that silly stuff. Now think about it, people. What woman, what woman would say that? What woman says? What, what woman refers to something loving and high frequency as silly stuff? Think about it. What woman says that? And then, you know, she always has that blank expression on her face in her pictures. Too smart to be female, too smart to be human, too smart to be black. You know, when I heard her say that, I was like, I can't believe you just said that. Like, you couldn't pretend for five seconds that you're human. It's, you know, especially with the voice she has. Because the voice she has, you expect femininity. But... We didn't get that out of her. Anyway, in other news, the wild woman whacker pled not guilty. I'll be so interested to see how this plays out. I'm actually going to live with the wild woman whacker. He just doesn't know it yet, which is, um, which is more of the uh, demoralization. But I don't, I'm not actually, I don't feel like sad about this. I'm actually looking forward to uh, spending time with Uncle Thirteen. Me and Uncle Thirteen working a fruit stand together. It's gonna to be great. See the way it's the way it goes is that they're gonna have me work a fruit stand with Uncle Thirteen just in time just just long enough for me to become a cyborg. I don't know why they just don't make me a cyborg now or right after the court is over. Apparently I have to get demoralized again but I, like I said I don't really mind I'm not I'm kind of looking forward to uh, meeting Gilbert and all the Gilbert tears it's, oh, it's gonna be awfully funny when they see me and him together I'm like isn't that the guy who said all that stuff about oh that's right they're in cahoots after all um, I said the other my uh, my pre-trial is Wednesday 527 my trial trial is June 1st. I have a, I, basically, I think they're going to make me... My prediction is that they're going to make me a convicted felon because they want me... They want me to be completely dependent on them for everything, which just goes back to the mind control. Like, my brother that hates me does my laundry. So... Yeah. Mind control... Reptilian mind control, and uh, there's a chance that I'm. I mean, uh, depending on what happens in court, there's a chance that uh, past Wednesday, five twenty-seven, you, there's a chance you might not be hearing from me anymore for at least until I get off probation, which will be like twelve months to eighteen months. Actually, six to eighteen months. So.
I hope they don't block my internet altogether. That would break my fucking heart. <laughs>